Dr. Vicki Peterson here. A reader wrote in about a very common problem that I hear a lot, which is that uh, she received genetic testing at, at the Mayo Clinic, actually, and had a positive test. She also had a positive blood test. Uh, she had the um, gliadin uh, immunoglobulin test, as well as the blood uh, tissue transglutaminase test. All these were positive. She uh, got off gluten, then saw another gastroenterologist who insisted that she then do a challenge with gluten. She did so, and um, upon doing so, was then given more blood tests as well as a biopsy. The biopsy and the blood were both negative, and now she's quite confused as to what that means. She knows she's extremely sensitive to gluten. If she ingests any, she feels terrible. Uh, getting off gluten improved her symptoms dramatically. And, um, and you think that would be enough. You know, you kind of know yourself and, and you've had this experience. But unfortunately, lingering in the back of, of your mind can be that, no, the biopsy was negative, so, so that means you should be able to eat gluten, and you start second-guessing yourself. And I think the thing that I most commonly want to say to patients is don't second-guess yourself. If you have removed gluten from your diet, remember that is currently the gold standard because of the various vagaries and um, inconsistencies of the testing that we have. The gold standard is you eliminate gluten for one month from your diet and you feel better. That is absolutely a positive test. So on top of that, this individual had a positive genetic test and realized that you can't possibly ever get celiac disease if you don't have a positive genetic test. So the fact that she's positive doesn't give her celiac but it certainly makes that a possibility later in life if she was to continue uh, eating gluten. Now, and on the contrary, the flip side, a negative genetic test does not mean that you can't be gluten sensitive. And I'm quoting um, Dr. Alessia Fasano from the University of Maryland, who is a tremendous researcher in this field, so it's not just my opinion. So we do have some inconsistencies here, but I think for this particular individual, what I'd like to say is absolutely know that you're gluten sensitive. Know that genetically you have the predisposition. You could uh, become celiac, but you're not going to, I know, because you are going to stay off gluten because you feel so much better doing so. So don't second guess yourself. If your body tells you it doesn't like gluten, it's absolutely correct. Until next time, I wish you very good health. This is Dr. Vicki Peterson.